What's up? How's your camp going so far, and how's it different from last year? Uh, I feel like my camp is going pretty, pretty good. You know, just I find my technique is finally coming together. And then compared to last year, you know, it, it, I feel like I'm a lot more, a lot smarter now, and I'm seeing the game faster. But you know, when you go, when you go a while without, you know, doing football, you kind of like lose your technique. So that's mainly the big difference between the two. You know, like the younger guys, they come up to me asking questions, and then I know on the field I got to lead by examples because they're watching me. So they figure like, well, if I do everything he does, it should help me get to the next point in my career. So that's probably like, it's more like leading by example and then meeting rooms, just explaining things like how I see it and why they should do certain things. But now, you know, I'm still letting them like play their own game, but they have like ask for advice, I'll tell them. Some of these young receivers and especially going up against maybe Trey Palmer, who's a rookie that, that's got a lot of physical ability, obviously. You know, all of them got a lot of potential. so. They all got their own little thing that makes them unique. So I'm just excited to see them on Friday, see how they do against like other teams. Defense has been creating a lot of turnovers so far in training camp, especially yesterday's practice, five on the day. You had a pick six or a big part of it. Uh, what's been working for, for the defense and the secondary in particular so far? Uh, it's more just trusting what we see. Because like when, you, when you start seeing the same things on, on film, like often you keep, you, you keep getting beat by it. Eventually, you just go like, all right, let me just trust the coaches and see, like, just take my gambles. I mean, really not much. It's really not a gamble. It's just anticipating. But then, you know, I guess yesterday we just, like, just let it loose. These preseason games are, you know, a big test for some of the younger guys, people trying to make the roster. What advice do you have for them in these situations in the preseason games? I honestly don't, don't, don't worry about playing too tight, play loose, and just have fun. Because at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. Because once you have fun, like, because you've been playing football your, your whole, maybe your whole career, your whole life, and then you play, the, you play the college football, so it's no difference. Probably more fans in college. And the only thing different is now you're you just in a spotlight where, you know, you consider a professional now. But just go out there and just do what you've been doing for all, for all your years. Playing against Baker and Kyle in there with the ones. Do you notice when they switch out? Do you notice who's in there at quarterback? Or do they not really separate themselves? Uh, you know, it, it just... You know when one is one is in and the other one's not, because like every both of them have like their own unique thing that makes them special. So like you know most of so most of you just gotta be prepared for like what can be thrown at you. Your senior partner Carlton was very vocal in the off season about hey, you know a lot of people are doubting us and we're gonna go out there and show them. Where do you fall on that? Do you use that type of negativity and the outside noise as motivation, or are you one of those guys that kind of just blocks it out? Oh, it's, def it's definitely motivation. Like, I've always been the guy that, like, that feeds on doubt, because cause, like, most of the time I've always been doubted because of my knees, and then it's always a good feeling when you prove people wrong. So like we, we know what's going on here, but other people, since Tom left, they feel like we're going to just go down the slope. So I'm looking forward to like, proving them wrong. Going against Mike Evans a lot, I've been watching that battle going. How's it been going against him? What have you seen from him as well? I mean, you know, Mike, man, you, you see why he gets a thousand thousand yards a year. <laughs> Cause like he he's technically like one of the top guys in the league. Like, and then going against, I know he helping me get better, and I helping him get better. So it's a great it's a great competition, and it just helping us through helping us when we get to the season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.